Hello there. Welcome back to my platform. And you know, this this came about this weekend for me while I was traveling uh, during the week. You know, I, I feel like I don't travel during the week a lot, but I did. And there was a lot of news going on. So I wanted to set alerts on my phone and to keep me abreast of what was going on. So I wasn't focusing on it. And I wasn't looking at my phone because I was off with family. And so what I did was set alerts on TradingView, on the TradingView app on my phone. And I just want to show you that real quick. And then I'm going to uh, bring that up for you. You can see I have the TradingView app right here on my phone. And uh, it's it's everything that's on my laptop. So it's just like a weirder version. I don't use it a lot except to set alerts. So what I want to show you is what I've been doing. And hopefully we can get an alert to trigger so you can see what happens. But you download the app on your phone and you set up all your little special things that you want, all your indicators, all your pairs. You know, it's a little funky. Um, but I, I must have set it up a long time ago because when I went into it this weekend, Everything I needed was there. All my indicators exactly the way that I wanted it. Um, so I just wanted to set some alerts and you can set it up to get an email notification or like a little quick uh, push notification on your phone. So you see it right away. And I never have my volume on as my family knows, but if I had my volume on, it would make a different, a different sound. So I want to show you how to do that. Uh, let's transition over to uh, my phone so I can show you how to get that done and how to set alert because we're all busy, right? We're all busy living our lives, whether you're working full time, you know, and that was the thing that spurred this also is that I have people like work full time and makes it hard to trade, but you, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be difficult. Or you feel like you miss something because what you can do is if there's a range of where you want to enter a trade, and you should know where you want to enter. And you can set an alert beforehand, like when it's getting close to your range. So you have time and not like have to drop everything at work because you can't drop everything at work, right? Uh, but it will give you time to go, hmm, there's a notification, which is like a little pre-warning to check the charts and potentially put in a trade, go about your day, Hit take profit. Mm -mm -mm. So let me pause this video and bring up my phone and we'll get right to it. So as you can see, I brought up my phone. Here is the app right here for trading view. And I was playing around with it this morning before I recorded this. So it looks like I already have an alert um, or some notification. So let's go into trading view right now. I'm just going to tap it because I have the app already downloaded on my phone. So here we are. Here's all the pairs that I watch. These are my primary pairs. And again, I have TradingView Pro, so it might look a little bit different than yours. Wow. <laughs> and there's a delay. So I was moving on my phone and then my laptop that I'm talking to you on um, kept on moving. So let's go. Let me just go to my US 30. Um, and again, I did a video on this. Notice the price difference. You want to find a broker. That is, that is close to your price. Okay. You want to find a broker that is close to your price. So I know on my phone that my trade is close to 600. And this is 30, 25 ish pips off. That's going to make it really challenging for me to take profit when I'm entering or leaving or exiting or doing whatever when it's not matching the um, broker on my phone. So let's let's go take a look at that. So let me go in. I know that this is where I'm close to. So I am... Now this looks a little bit different. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's so different, guys. It's so different on your phone. This is why I guess I don't typically use training view on your phone. So here's my US 30 chart. Right now it is currently, wow, that was an alert. 
currently at $599, $600. I'm in a bunch of sales today. Well, I'm going to sell today across multiple accounts. But how you set an alert is if you tap that plus sign down the bottom, um, I can, I don't think I have my little indicator screen here anymore. So way down the bottom is a plus sign. <laughs> I'm going to tap that. And you'll see right away, it, it doesn't get any easier. And I'm going to be mindful of that delay. There was like a three second delay. I'm just going to tap alerts. Now, and it gives you the current price for US 30. So you can see that's 33, 599, 40. And of course, you know, this is what I trade. I only want this to happen once um, for now. So I'm going to go in and change that price to when it gets to, um, I really want it to activate while I'm with you. So when it gets to 585, and I'm going to create that, it's going to send an alert and you'll see it pop up. I would love 590. I would love for it to happen. But you can see, you can tap that again. And you can tap the three dots and you can see there's a little red dot in my alert management. And you can see, oh, I have two active. I have one that's set at 575 and it's not there yet. And I have the one I just set with you um, to 585. I'm going to hit the X and close out of that. And again, hopefully that will activate while I'm with you here. But it's really that simple. So you're going to get, and you can, let's see if we can take some time and play around with that. In here, it should give you, that's not what I want, alerts. I just hit the little edit. I don't know where that is. Let me get back out. In here somewhere, it says, I know it does on the computer, where you want to get. Oh, it's down here. Okay. Uh, is it down here? Where you want to get notifications. And it usually gives you the option, notifications. Here we go. I'm just hitting notifications up the top. Push them. You can, I have click uh, send an email and also push notifications on my phone. Desktop pop-up. So what that does, even on my phone, boop, it sends me, it like interrupts what I'm doing. And there's a little alert up the top, just like if I get a text message from my friend. So I don't want to cancel that. I just want to go back to the chart, uh, 92. So it's really that simple. Oh, sorry, I hit pause by, by accident. So you can be out doing life. Um, I have a meeting soon, and then it's really nice here um, on the East Coast. So I'm going to get uh, to the gym, and I'm going to get outside. And it's just nice to know it's going back up. So let's see if we can set another alert. just so it triggers while you're here, which would make me so happy because I really want you to see it. So I set that for 610, 608. Oh, there we go. Boom. There you go. So you get this no matter what screen you're in. I could be reading my emails. I could be talking to my friend on Messenger. I like You're going to get that alert. And I have volume off, but it also makes a sound. Let's just see if we can set another one. Uh, let's see if we can set. Oh, that's not right. You see, I made an error there and it would let me. <laughs> one five. Let me just see if I can put my sound on and see if it gives me a sound alert. Please go up to 15. So we'll need it to hit again. And um, I believe it makes a different notification sound. It did not. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. So you can be out and about doing whatever you need, folks. And um, you will get your notifications. So, oh, I work full time. You know, you know, it's not an excuse.
Like you can trade whether you're working full-time, part-time, not at all. Um, you can definitely get it done. So that's the video today. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions or even any questions on setting an alert um, on TradingView, you can either Google it or um, DM me if it's something that you want me to do a video on. But I feel like I will be doing a trading view video uh, in incorporating all the things that I use trading view for. So I'm not going to run down all the tools and how to do this and how to do that. I'm just going to go over a video, make a video of what I use. And one of them, um, I will show you how to set alerts on your laptop if you don't know how. But if you need something in the meantime, please reach out to me. You either have my number or you can message me on the Patreon or you can message me um, elsewhere for connected on IG or Facebook. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.